In this tutorial, we're looking at the text helper in CodeIgniter. The text helper file contains functions that assist in working with text. Let's check it out. Uh, we'll start off at our, with our controller again, and we're loading in the helper here. Um, remember, we auto-loaded the HTML helper in the last tutorial. So if I want to use any of those um, helpers, I can do that. And let's go into our view. And you can see that I have some of the uh, HTML helpers here, like right there. And um, let's start off right here with the word limiter. So let's jump over to the documentation and it truncates the string to the number of words specified. Okay, so let's go back to the code. And um, here's my string. This is a string with lots of words in it. And I'm running this function on my string. I'm passing in a four as the second parameter. Let's see the result, which is this is a string, one, two, three, four, and then it puts an ellipsis on the end. Now, in the beginning, I thought this was three dots, but actually you can see that it's not three dots. Um, it's its own character, and it has its, um, I can't remember the encoding for it, but that's one character, and it's called the ellipsis. Uh, the next one we'll look at is character limiter. So, um, uh, no. Right, right here. Okay, so character limiter function. The first thing is we're passing in the string and then we're giving it, we want to limit to how many characters. Now, one thing about this function is it won't cut off words. So it might not be exactly 20 characters because it's not going to cut off a word in the middle and we can see that in action. So here's my character limiter and it says here is some nice text and it won't cut that off no matter what I change it to. It might remove text altogether, but it won't um, break up a word in the middle. The next function we're going to look at is the highlight phrase function. Let's go back to the documentation and let's go down to it. So highlight phrase and um, it takes takes four parameters. The Make this bigger. Actually, let's just go back to the code. So the first parameter is the string, string in question. The next one is what phrase do you want to highlight. The third one is um, a tag to go before it. And the fourth one is a tag to go after. So beginning and ending tags. Um, here are their spans. And let's take a look at that. So we can see here, um, here is some nice text about nothing in particular. Um, let's look at the source for this. And we can see here, here is some, and then here is that third parameter, the span, and then what we're highlighting, and then the last one. So I thought that one was, um, I thought that function was pretty good. That could be uh, useful in quite a few places. The next one we'll look at is this word wrap function. Now, this function isn't going to do anything for you in a browser because um, if you try to use a new line character, uh, which is basically it's an escaped n inside double quotation marks, um, it's not going to work like a break tag will in a browser and bring you to the next line. So basically, what I think this function is going to be useful for is um, formatting emails where the new line character is going to um, create a break in the email and possibly also writing to a text file like a .txt and that should create a new line for us there um, but uh, here it is word wrap the first thing you pass is the string and the next one is um, after how many characters do you want to um, wrap the next one we'll look at is this ellipse size. So we have here a string. This string is way too long and we have to do something about it. And the first thing is we're passing in the string. The next one is, um, actually I don't even remember. Let's go back to the documentation. And ellipse size. Ah, I remember. So ellipse size function, the first thing is a string. The second one is um, where to put the ellipsis and the next one is the sorry the third parameter 
is um, if it's a value of 1 here, it will place the ellipsis um, at the right of the string, so the end of the string. 0.5 will be in the middle, and 0 is at the left. So that's how that works. And what did I do here? I put it at the end. So let's see what that did. And we can see this string is way too long. It cut the word off and put the ellipses after that. The next function we're going to talk about is the word sensor function. Let's go to the documentation. Um, the word sensor enables you to censor words in a string. The first parameter is the original string. The second contains an array of words which you uh, want to disallow. And the third optional parameter is a, repla a replacement value for the words. Okay, so here they have um, this disallowed array and function here. Let's go to the code. And um, my disallowed array is right here. Darn, shuck, scully. Okay. And um, my string is set to uh, this right here. And the word sensor, so first thing we're passing in the string. The next is we're passing in an array of the band words. And here I'm replacing it with four stars. Let's look at that. And you can see here that it replaced it with four words. Now, while I was doing this, I actually thought um, I thought it would be better if um, the amount of stars matched um, the amount of letters in the bad word, as opposed to just doing four each time. So what I did was I wrote my own function inside the text helper to do this. So let's take a look at that. And we'll go down to the system and then under helpers and we'll open the text helper and um, my function is right here now I've, I've showed this function to a few of my programming friends and actually um, it could be better but um, it could be better um, I've been told using the preg um, underscore replace uh, function instead of what I did here but I just did this up really quick and it, I thought it works pretty well. So um, let's just go through the function even though this probably could be done in a better way. Um, I called the function star sensor and it takes the string and it also takes um, censored and it also takes an array here in the second parameter. Um, if censored is not an array, we're just returning the string back as it was passed in. We return that back and the function ends there. Okay, But normally this will be an array. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this isn't going to happen. This is going to be false. And we're going to go down to this for each statement. And we're going to say um, for each word in the, um, so for each element in the censored array as bad word. And we're first setting this variable stars to an empty string. And then we're going to get the bad word length. So no matter what bad word we're on here, we are going to check the length of it. And we're going to store that length as a number in here. So I run the strlen function on the bad word. And we store the length right there. And then I say um, for i is set to 0 as long as i is less than the bad word length. I plus plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop. And how many times are we going to do a loop? The amount of times we're going to do the loop is the same amount of letters that is in the bad word. And then what happens here is each time stars started out as a, an empty string, and each time it goes through a loop, we're appending one star um, to this empty string. So the result is is that um, the stars are going to be the same length as the bad word. And then what I do here is we run the strI replace function, and this is case insensitive, okay? So case insensitive strI replace, and we're passing in the bad word as the first parameter, and then the stars, okay, which we're building here, and then the string, and then we're returning the string, running the trim on it in case there's any white space on either side, which I don't think there will be. And um, 
let's take a look at that. And so the star signs are here, so you can see we have six stars here, four stars, and then a whole bunch of stars here. And that matches up with um, the word I had, so six letters, four letters, and then uh, nine letters there. That's all I have for this one. See you in the next one.